Happy 4th of July, everybody! I'm here with my friends Noemi and Milo. Happy 4th of July, guys! Are you having fun so far? <laughs> Good, me too. As you can see, we have some delicious foods to eat. And I thought it might be fun if we went through and did the story of the 4th of July. Do you guys know the whole story of why we celebrate the 4th of July in America? Mm-hmm. Because we got free. Because we got We're free. Free from England. Free from England. Well, how about this? How about I tell you guys <laughs> the story, and um, I might get certain parts of it wrong, so if I do, will you kind of maybe like help me stay okay. on track? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, all right. So, the very first 4th of July was July 4, 1776. America wasn't even a country yet. It was just 50 colonies. No! <laughs> Where are you Thirteen! Right! Thirteen <laughs> colonies. Now, back then, the boss was this guy named George who lived on the other side of the ocean in England. He's the president of England. <laughs> Yet. You're right. He was the king of England. <laughs> the king. Yeah. And so he was the boss, and he lived all the way over there in England, and all the colonists lived over here. And do you think it was easy to communicate across the ocean? <laughs> it didn't go so good. The people here felt like they should have a right to vote. So, King George was pretty mad at the people. Did you remember that part? Yeah. He was, he made that face a lot. He looked just like him just then. So what King George did was he made each colony open up a Starbucks. And Not a Starbucks! <laughs> there weren't Starbucks yet? No! That was like centuries after. It was centuries after, that is true. Well, King George did put a big tax on the tea and the people revolted. They said, we will not pay for this expensive tea. And so, so do they you know got, what they did? Uh-huh, they sailed to the big boat and got axes and chopped all the tea and threw it into the water. Mm hmm And do you remember what they called that? The Boston Tea, tea Party. Party. Well done, you guys. King George was so mad. So he put soldiers on boats and sent them across the ocean. And as they came to America, they sang, we're coming to America today. <laughs> you don't think they sang that song? It's a 4th of July classic though. Okay, maybe that song came a little bit later in the history of America. Well, anyways, the British soldiers were coming. So Paul Revere looked through his giant telescope. No! <laughs> he didn't no! have one. <laughs> it's true. So he rode around with some other guys shouting, the British are coming, the British are coming. And all of the colonists got together and started to fight. Pew, 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 pew. Lots and lots and lots of that. George Washington got all of the Minutemen together. Now the Minutemen were the ones who made Minute Maid orange juice. <laughs> okay, but he got the Minutemen together. So they crossed the Delaware and on a boat was Francis Scott Key watching the rocket's red glare. Oh, that, was that was a different war. Which war was that one? 1218? Close! The War of 1812! Uh. Yes! So he was on a boat and he was watching to see if the flag was still there. And then he wrote the song that we sing on the 4th of July. Oh, say can you see? And those are some of the reasons that we celebrate all this great history. Isn't it amazing that so many people worked so hard for us to live in this cool country? That's kind of good news. Maybe we should do like a hot dog cheers. Hot dog cheers! Hot dog cheers! Hot dog cheers! Well, happy 4th of July, guys. And happy 4th of July to all of you. Ready? One, <laughs> two, three.
Thanks so much for watching, everybody. For more Adam Tanzer's episodes, you can click right here. And please don't forget to subscribe. That happens down here. Laugh a little, think a lot, love better.